Go to YouTube. It's of course the vibe from Prophecy and Luck, man. Um, now I know a lot of people are not gonna give my Knicks credit. You know, um, we face who we face in the in in the in in our schedule. You know, whether it's teams for, uh, uh, above five hundred or below, we face who we face. You know, like we have no control over that. You know. Uh, you win the games that you're supposed to win, and some days you're gonna get lucky and blow out the bucks like we did, did uh, you know, a few years ago, a few months ago, or we can look how we look today and you know, old school fashion and just blew out, you know, the the Pistons, you know, um, but I believe that you know the Knicks are eighteen and seventeen now. Obviously, they faced the uh, you know Spurs, who took it to the Nets last night. Uh, almost went to over. Actually, they did go to overtime. They went to overtime, and the Nets just pulled away. You know, Kyrie was healthy, and I want Kyrie especially. I want Kyrie to be healthy when we face them, because we gonna be facing them pretty soon. Around, I believe, uh, uh March fifteenth is where is when we will face the Nets. And I want Kyrie especially to be healthy. You know, like I want nothing to do with James Harden. You know, Kyrie especially, I want this game for the Zach reason. Now, will my Knicks get 20, 20, to the 20 mark win. Not really. Uh, you know, the Spurs, they've been playing very good lately, uh, despite their record. Um, they've been playing very, very tough, competitive. You know, they still got DeMar DeRozan and, and Aldridge. And um, they still got um, what's his name? Oh damn! They still got Murray, so they still got a plethora of great players on their team. You know, there's no, they're no slouch. You know, um, I think it's gonna be a close game, but I do have my Knicks winning tonight. Um, but when we do face the Nets, I want Kyrie Irving to brass in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because this game is going to be very, very important because it's going to tell me two things. One, it's going to tell me where my Knicks are. And two, it's going to tell me a lot about the Nets because we've seen it all. Like, yeah, you can bake a cake, but if you don't have the right ingredients, it's not going to come out right but if you have the ingredients and you have the people to make that cake it's going to turn out to be the best cake you ever had kind of like the Nets we've seen Kyrie KD play together we've seen James Harden Kyrie play together we've seen James Harden and KD play together we've seen Kyrie and KD play together but they have not been on the same page they have not been in the court at the same time. And that's a problem. That's a problem for a lot of reasons. For one, how will they all mesh together? Because there's only one ball, right? So how do we, so how will they all mesh together when they're in the court at the same time? Like I'm not I'm not people worried about who's taking it that they can all put it in a bucket. Outside of those three, Shaman could also put it in a bucket too. Harris can also put it in a bucket too. But they're basically role players. These are superstars. Some won championships, others won some us like KD, Kyrie, they won championships. James Harden's won won MVP. So if James Harden had at least one championship to his resume, I don't think people are going to look at him different than, you know, let's say Allen Iverson. You know, like if if Allen Iverson had help in his heyday when he was carrying the Sixers all those years, 
Maybe, but like I said, Iverson did not do well when he had another all-star. You know, another superstar. You know, I think he uh, kind of same, kind of like the same of of James Harden. Like I, I think Iverson sees a lot in him. You know, be but like I think James Harden sees a lot in Allen in Allen Iverson. Because if you really look at those two careers, if you look at Allen Iverson's career, the way he willed his team to to the NBA Finals, obviously different paths. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, in in terms of just skill and 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 just able, like able to draw, you know, fouls, you know, at the line. James Harden doesn't with James Harden does it. Like no other, you know? So, but the question is, how can they all play together at the same time? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the question that everybody wants to know. How will they all play together when in the court at the same time? Because if Kyrie misses this game, which I really do think he will miss this game, he'll find some stupid excuse to not play this game, because I believe I believe after this we only face them twice, so after this we won't face them again, you know. Unless we meet in the playoffs, you know what I'm saying. So, um, this is more gonna be of a statement game, you know. Yeah, the Nets beat us the first time, um, but. I do believe that Kyrie has to play this game. Because if Kyrie shies away from this game, a lot of people are going to be looking at Kyrie differently. Like, why are you not, you know, taking it upon yourself to show why you came to Brooklyn? Why you the, you know, why you put Brooklyn, why you chose Brooklyn instead of the Knicks? You know what I'm saying? But if he misses this game due to an injury or some stupid stupid, you know, excuse. I'm going to look at him differently. People are going to look at him differently. The media is going to look at him differently. And that's probably going to be the image that he's going to bring on himself. Now, if he does play this game and we still beat him by 40 or 20 points, nothing is going to change because the Nets suck. The, the Nets have no championships to show for, okay? Just because you put a whole bunch of superstars and all-stars, well, I'm, I'm just going to call them all, like, just because you put a whole bunch of superstars on one team doesn't automatically mean that they're going to win the championship. Did LeBron James win his first championship when they assembled the big three? No. When the Nets, not the Nets, when the Boston Celtics is, is, is assembled, their big three, did they, you know, win the championship the first time? No. So it takes time. It may not happen this year. Like this year, it might be the it might be the Clippers. Next year, it might be the uh, the, the Nets. Because I believe that if Kyrie and James Harden, well, James Harden is going to have to stay. So, because uh, of his contract, but I believe. Okay, so obviously, if this if this season is a wash, they'll stick around for another year. You know what I'm saying? They'll stick around for another year, see how it works. If it's the same result, they're gonna dish. They they're gonna go out. They're gonna bounce. They're gonna find some other team that that's gonna be a contender. Why are they going to leave Brooklyn high and dry with no draft picks? They already traded away all their young assets. So the Brooklyn Nets is going to be in a rebuilding mode, struggling every single year, being a, 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 a 16 and 65 team each and every year. While the Nets, while, I, said the, while, I, said, I said the Nets, while the Knicks are winning 40-plus games every year because they did the things the right way. They did things the right way, you know? Like, I think we finally, you know, learned from that Carmelo Anthony trade. 
even though we even though we still won that trade in my opinion we shouldn't didn't we like we shouldn't we shouldn't like we we shouldn't have gone the route that we have went you know like all we could have done is just sign and trade him but we gave up half like we gave up Wilson Chandler we gave him Remy Felton and then 